What's up guys? Today we're placing the master cylinder in the Miata. So it's kind of windy today, so we're going to try to make this a short video. But. So first thing we did, we used this um, sucker. <laughs> it's a turkey baster. Turkey baster. Not really a turkey baster. There's no way. And then we put it in this bottle. That looks like piss. It's not piss though. Um, second thing we're going to do, we're going to take off this line. And then after that, we got two bolts on this side. Right there. Right, they're going to be right above the uh, clutch pedal on the other side of the firewall. And then we just basically throw the new one in there. Where's the new one at? So all you need is a 10 millimeter inch, 12 millimeter, 12 millimeter socket. So, Here's yeah. the new one. 20 bucks. Twenty dollars. Mine, mine was like thirty dollars. So I mean, it varies in between. I think it depends on how old your car is, honestly. Yeah. So. This one's actually, yeah, it's about the same. So it goes like goes in like this. Yep. Put your hands in the way. So this is like I said, a ten, ten millimeter wrench, and you just gotta take it off. So it just pops out. Should pop out. Yeah. There okay. And then next, there is two uh, 12 millimeter nuts on the firewall, and those are the last things you have to take out. So, hey, what's up, bro? okay, so you just took the first bolt off on that side, and now we're taking the one off on this side. If you try, if you get brake fluid on your paint, it can like hurt it. So we're gonna try to wipe that off. No, I got brake fluid on my paint. Okay, shiny. So shiny. Look at that fitment though. JD was fucked. I don't know where the nut went. <laughs> Gabe lost the nut. So there you go guys. So this is the thing. That's probably why it was leaking so bad. So yeah, this thing is. It probably... looks like it was leaking out the right there. Yeah. This is the first time Gabe has actually cared about his paint. Um, as Whoa. you can see, we got some brake fluid on the uh, paint. You can still see it. I'm just like the reason I that you, you can see that is because Gabe put water all over it. And um, tried to wash it off. But that's not how you wash it off. Yeah. No, guys, do not get this stuff on your paint. Okay. It will mess it up. <laughs> He's got like racing stripes on the yeah. side of his car. Like, if you do get brake fluid on your paint, wipe it up as quick as you can because it dries and it's just not good for it. So. Yep. So Gabe's fucked. Yeah. Keep that in mind. And you got water all over the ground and his shoes. Look at that. These are his party shoes too. Party shoes. Once we put this on, we gotta bleed it. By the way, so. something big happened. 400 subscribers. Oh, yeah, good deal. Thank you for the support. We're getting um, a lot of good feedback, all the comments on the videos, likes. Yeah, guys, so you really, all, really appreciate that. It's inspiring us just to make more stuff, make more yep. videos, get more content out. So um, we got a lot of good projects right now. Yeah, so um, I'll, by Too the many. way, <laughs> on the uh, Turbo TC, uh, I've been working a lot and um, I'm still trying to get money for the AAM module. Yeah. For the FIC. So once I get that, we're putting that on. Uh, then um, a week or two after that, I'm getting injectors. And then we're going to start um, putting on turbo shit. Got the master cylinder bolt bolted in. Yeah. Um, let's see what Gabe's doing back here. Dot three brake fluid. Alright, guys. So or dot two. What, what, what is it? Uh, dot, it doesn't matter. Dot three, dot four. It dot doesn't four. matter. So you can do some research, choose what you want. But, um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna basically kind of flush out the new one before we install the line. And you can do this uh, before you put it on the car, or you can do it like what, like how we're doing it. It doesn't really matter. So, I'm gonna open this damn thing. So, right. so you just wanna put some brake fluid in it. Not too much. Like brake fluid's cheap, so I mean, yeah. if you well, waste relatively. it. Well, what you wanna do is you wanna keep the level above the hole so no air gets into it. And then you just gotta keep going to the bubbles. Yeah. Stop. Whenever you're tightening this uh, this nut bolt thingy, I don't know what you wanna call it, you wanna make sure you don't cross thread it. So if it's not going in easily, take it back out, put it in straight. Like, All right guys, so we just got the line hooked up. We're gonna go ahead and not really bleed it, but just kinda get all the air through it. Um, You can take it a step further and actually bleed the whole clutch out, but we're not gonna do that today. So basically, you do this till you feel pressure. You can, I'm, I'm already seeing air bubbles about to come out. They're just taking a while to come out. There's another one. Feel some more pressure. 
All right, guys, so we actually are gonna have to bleed it. As you can see there, it's all dirty and everything. So, to bleed it, you gotta find the slave cylinder, which is on the passenger side. Might be different for earlier cars, but it's right down there. It's right there. What you see there is a bleeder nipple, and it has a little um, nut on it. And uh, it's either a seven or an eight, we're about to find out. But basically, you just like uh, loosen that up a little bit so uh, fluid can start coming out. And go ahead and open that up until fluid starts coming out. And uh, the whole time I'm doing this, Brennan is going to be pumping the clutch. So, yep. All right, so I actually found it easier. Hold up. To do it like this. It's just right there. Pump it. Hold it. Hold it. Pump it. Hold it. All right guys, so you want to repeat that process and the whole time you're doing it, make sure the level in your master cylinder does not go empty. Because if that happens, air gets into the system and it you gotta start all over again. So we're gonna go ahead and repeat this process until there's no air in the system. We also did a video on replacing the slave cylinder. We did the same thing. Yeah. It goes more in depth. So if you wanna need more help on that, just watch that video. So. Yeah, it's pretty old, so you have to dig back in the history. Actually, you know what? We'll link to it. Yeah, we'll put a link to it in the description. All right. Yep. Good deal. Sweet.